If you think Kaneohe Bay is awesome during the day, well, you really should see what it looks like after the sun goes down. And tonight, that's exactly what we are planning on doing, especially since the winds are still and the ocean is so calm. But first things first, let's get the fishing toys out. Then with a little help from my friends, let's get the boat loaded. And with everybody pitching in, this doesn't take any time at all. So, mission accomplished. All we have to do now is wait for the sun to go down, then, yeah, you know, let's go fishing. Today there has been a report of an algae bloom in the bay. Sometimes that algae will glow around things that move in the water. For instance, if you are walking in the water at night, check out what happens as your legs splash through the water. Kent videotaped this with his camera phone, since my bright camera lights prevent me from picking it up. Look how cool this is. This doesn't happen often in the bay, and this algae makes things glow in the dark like magic. Hmm, pretty cool. Okay, let's get back to business. Our method of fishing tonight will be net throwing. The guys we're fishing with are all pretty darn good at this. Check that out. That is not our target fish. But you'll often see these puffer fish in the shallows at night looking to make a meal out of small crabs and shrimp. Looks like we're all set. Let's see who gets on the scoreboard first. Someone better has So here's the deal, one throw and then we switch, huh? Time for pills tonight. Oh, baby kind. Yeah, small meals. Watch on this back over here. You still sleeping? They, they just stay tame, they're not like the mullet. <laughs> they had plenty of places to swim out, but they chose to stay still. <laughs> You're not bad, huh, guys? Not bad. Not bad. Alright, well, tell you what, let's show them down and go get more. Okay, Rodney, your turn. Yeah, nice throw. See what about in that? Yeah. yeah. Some thumb down the side. Careful. You're not bad. Big burgers. Big ones, yeah. Two for two. Hey, this is moy, I think. No, mullet. You know, we saw, we saw all that fluorescent blue stuff in the water, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, that was a big pile, man. Uh, when did they get 
a little bit closer. A little bit closer, man. Shoot. That algae bloom that's been giving us that underwater glow seems to be dying off here and floating to the top of the water. It is making it a little harder to see fish, but not impossible. Oh, uh, one o'clock. Something. You see when they move in, they got the blue glow. Right, they're right over there. Man, that's really cool, man. Hey, that was a beautiful throw, Daniel. As you can see folks, when the conditions are right, this kind of fishing can look easy. We got 15 pieces of fish tonight, enough for all of us and our families. But a few nights ago, the best throw was made by this guy. He got 11 mullet in one throw. That, my friends, is a hard act to follow. Don't go away, much more on the fishing show, right after you catch this. <laughs> 